Happy holidays, everybody. Woo! Uh, Ian, quick question. Yeah. Um, my fashionably late friend is bringing two more. Fashionably late friends, is that okay? Is that hunky dory? Absolutely, if they can find a place to live. Well, I mean, I think they'll live their own way, you know? <laughs> but more the merrier. Oh, great, awesome, cool. Happy holidays, everybody. So this is a song no one's ever heard of. It's from a Kurt Vaughn musical called One Touch of Venus. If I say Saga of Jenny, does anyone know what that is? Yes! Oh my goodness, that's more than I expected. This is not that song. Um, this is called <laughs> Dr. Crippen. It's like that song. It's about a guy, he's a doctor, and he falls in love with his secretary, so he murders his wife, and then buries her in cement. Yeah! And this is that song. Come on, Kurt Vile. <laughs> Passion is not a laughing matter And in love you must not fall Unless for the sake of a woman You are ready to give your all Let me tell you about a lover who made the sacrifice Let me tell you about a lover Who never loved but twice Here's to Dr. Crippen Holly Harvey Crippen Lying in a felon's grave When they tried him in court He had one retort It was all for Ethel and a doctor who'd be unknown to fame if he hadn't met an actress. Belle Elmer was her name. He promised if he'd wed her, she'd be the best of wives. An unfortunate proposal since it cost them both their lives. Here's to Dr. Crippen, Holly Harvey Crippen, a lion in a fella's gray. But he told the guard in the prison yard it was all for Ethel and Bell Elmore was a vixen, Bell Elmore was a shrew, nobody knows you better than she subjected Dr. Crippen to. He hired a secretary, Ethel and Abe by name, if she'd gone to work for somebody else he'd be unknown to fame. Or oh, here's the Dr. Crippen, Holly Harvey Crippen, lying in a fella's grave. But as he swung, he proudly sung, it was all for Ethel and Abe. Absolutely all the recollection. Dr. Crippen liked her typing. Her lady liked self-control. He had an understandable figure and an understanding soul. He prescribed for Bell a tonic, dug a hole in the cellar floor, and then he packed in quicklime what was left of Bell Elmore. Here's the Dr. Crippen, Holly Harvey Crippen. I, I am in a felon's grave. But he did it most. When they cut the rope, it was all for Ethel and A. When they cut the rope, yes, it was absolutely all for Ethel and A. But he put boys' clothes on his sweetheart. They fled to a country far. The law identified Bell Elmer through an old abdominal scar. He would never have been suspected of the police. He would have made a fool. But Ethel was observed at a party. Dr. Crippen, Holly Harvey Crippen, lying in a felon's grave. He gave not only his life, but that of his wife for the love of Ethel and 